Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Red Main Castle. But before we do, like always, let's talk about some of the things I did off screen. And I did a couple things actually. I farmed up a bunch of runes so that we could level up again. I farmed up about 885,000 runes. That was an, oh, man, it, it is getting tough to farm up this many. So I don't recommend this for anybody. If you want to, go ahead. Uh, but it's very time consuming. I'll just, I'll just put that out there. Um, I also went ahead and put on flame, grant me strength and rotten breath. So if you're following along the same build as me, you're going to want to put that stuff on. If not, keep doing what you're doing. Other than that, let's go ahead and start leveling up and then we can make our way to red main castle. Let's go ahead and put two levels into vigor. Two levels into Endurance, two levels into Strength, and two levels into Dex. Now we're going to go to our map. We're going to come over to Kaled. Before we go to any Grace, we're going to put a marker down. We're going to put one right about here, and then one right over here. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank. I'll see everybody over there. Turn on our lantern here. And then we're going to hop on Torrent. We're not going to take the road. We're actually going to hop up over here like we did when we wanted to get that crystal tier. Be careful. The bird may see you. If it does, just keep running. Don't slow down. And something saw us. Just keep running. Run for the first marker. Don't slow down. I think it was just a dog. We're going to veer off just to the southeast here for just a second so that we can get up on this rock or I, I don't want to call it a cliff because it's not really a cliff we're gonna hop over here and we're gonna get on this side of the scarab we get the ash of war crag blade really cool ash of war for those of you that like to use the gravity spells and stuff this is a good Ash of War for you guys. Up top, we're going to be heading over to the, towards those knights. Let's climb this ladder here. They didn't stand a chance. Got a heavy crossbow from him. Sweet. Let's open up this chest. And then we'll get the arrows sting talisman so when you have that talisman on it will allow you to do more damage with your bow it's not a bad talisman if you're using your bow quite a bit you can toggle it on and off obviously whenever you need it you put it on whenever you don't take it off put a better talisman on we come over here to this little tent we can get ourselves six mushrooms and then lastly, we can get this grace. 
We're going to reset this grace for just a second to de-aggro everything. And then I keep forgetting to take this off. We don't need the beast repellent torch on anymore. So let's take that off. And then we're just going to put the shield over here. Now, right here, we're going to have a bunch of trebuchets, two shooting at us, flaming boulders. So be ready. That was really close. Poor torrent. You just want to keep your eye on the trebuchets. And that'll help you out immensely getting through here. Be careful getting too close. There is a ballista up top shooting at you. So try not to go past those uh, palisades. Not palisades. What the hell am I talking about today? Guy's kicking my ass. Bring the hammer down on top of his head. Get a smithing stone three. And then we can hop on torrent. We're going to want to be careful. We're going to be dodging a ballista up here. But more importantly, we're going to be running from a troll. So just top up. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Talk about the worst case scenario here. Holy moly. The troll is up here. <laughs> if I can even get to the troll. Let's run by him. Come over here. We're going to hop off. And take this guy out. This was the ballista guy that was shooting at us before when we were riding up to Red Main Castle. Get a smithing stone six. Man, I can't believe I uh, just got caught up in that. Hopefully everybody else fares better in that situation. You want to be careful because that troll... Is coming around that corner, so you want to run and jump. Do not stick around. He will hit you with that wind attack that they do. We're going to take this guy out real quick. If not, he's going to roll up behind us while we're trying to kill some bats. Just follow this path around. Should be alright. I'm going to pull our sword out real quick because there's a bat up here that it's just easier to kill with our sword. Pull our bow out again and then there's a bat across the way. And then we're going to get the attention of that bat. But he's going to come over here a little closer. We'll probably miss him if we try to hit him from way over there while he's moving. So there's a pretty big gap over here. What I like to do is get a running start and then run and jump. You're going to want to run and jump. If you don't, you're going to fall to your death. And then you're going to have to do all of this all over again. Which is never fun. Especially when you have to dodge all those um, trebuchets. Again, the, the flaming boulders. 
from the trebuchets. Yes, Mr. Wayne. I know what I'm talking about, I promise. So right here, killing that Silver Scarab, you get the Ash of War Flaming Strike. Pretty cool. Does exactly what it uh, says. Shoot out a flame as you're striking. Take this guy out, and you have another guy rolling up on you over here. Foot Soldier Helm. And then over here, we're going to have one of those big knights again. Hopefully he doesn't kick my ass. No, but he still got a good hit off. Over there, there is a pumpkin head. We'll be fighting him shortly here. First, we're going to head down here. We have a dog. Take him out. And then we'll activate this summoning pool. Grab the Armorer's Cookbook 5, Smithing Stone 5, and then if you open up this door, this just leads right back out to the graveyard where we fought the bats and stuff and we jumped over. So it's kind of a shortcut, but still, if you die, you have to go through all that stuff again. You just skip over this tiny bit, which isn't even that hard. Over here, we're going to have a page knight. Be careful. They shoot explosive bolts. Got a page hood. I think we've already got one of those. And then over here, we have two lions. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our bow. Get the attention of one. And hopefully this goes well. Oh my goodness. Wow, rolled into that. So we get a smithing stone four for killing him, beast blood, and an old fang. Now let's go ahead and use flame grant me strength again. And then we're gonna buff our weapon. And take on this one now. Thought it was close enough. Guess not. And then there's the second one. Somber Smithing Stone 4, Beast Blood, and Old Fang. Now, my advice to everybody when you're taking on these lions, keep one over here by this area. If you can, a little more over there so you're not fighting two at the same time. And if you go over here... Let's go ahead and drink a flask real quick. There's a Crimson Scarab. So try not to go too far over here so you don't scare the Scarab. So you can get some flasks back. They're difficult, but not impossible. We're going to go in here.
get the armor's cookbook four. Get a smithing stone four. And then a golden rune six. We can just jump through the window here. We don't have to climb back down those stairs. Over here we have two soldiers. Not hard at all. Right here is a teleporter. You could have taken that from, I believe, the jail keep. Where we were at a video or two ago. And it would have brought you right over here. We're not going to worry about those guys right now. We're actually going to go up here. We're going to be fighting that pumpkin head I was talking about earlier. That's more like it. Take him out. And grab the flamberge. And then climb this ladder. Get ourselves a smithing stone five. And then if we veer off to the left here, we can get one more item. This is going to be a smithing stone three. And what we can do is roll off right here. Make sure you land on this. You won't take any damage, any fall damage. And then we have these guys. Now these guys are kind of a pain in the ass, but you can run around and get this one fairly easily. Unless you're me, of course. But just pull out your bow. Wait for him to quit. So you can see where their head is at. Get a headshot on him. They'll come run over to you. If you get a headshot on him. And you can take him out pretty easily. So just kind of rinse and repeat. There you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's light this grace just in case we die. Come up top here. Right over here, we're going to have an enemy. Take him out fairly easily. Okay. So when we run over here, there's going to be an Iron Virgin. I am not going to fight it because the only thing we're going to get from her is runes. And it's just not worth it. Not worth the trouble. Up top, we have a knight coming down. But first, we want to get that red hot wet blade. That's going to allow you to scale your weapon with fire. Let's 
go ahead and heal up. Not that we absolutely needed to, but might as well. Be careful, there is an archer to the right over there. So kind of stay back, just get the attention of this guy. Then we can shoot this archer. He'll come running over here. Now we can crouch. Get behind this knight. Get ourselves a free backstab. Take him out fairly easily. Grab a smithing stone six. Now, if you want, you could fast travel fairly easily over to the grace that we just activated. But what I like to do is run over here, jump off, hit this right here, and then I like to uh, fall down. And then we're back at the grace. Let's go ahead and rest at it. And right here, this boss can be a little difficult. You're going to be fighting two bosses at the same time. And one of them is going to be a Crucible Knight. So my advice to everybody is drink your flask. Buff your weapon. And then as soon as you come into the boss fight, summon an Oleg. Drink another flask. Use flame, grant me strength. We got the Crucible Knight coming in, but we already killed the first boss. Crucible Knight is actually the harder harder boss or enemy, whatever you want to call him. He's just got more HP and hits a little harder. Not that the Misbegotten doesn't hit hard, because he hits hard. I just tried to drink a Cerulean Flask. That was really stupid of me and almost killed me. I got extremely lucky there, everybody. Get out of that corner right there. That is danger. There we go. So for killing both of those bosses, you get the Ruins Greatsword. Right here is one of the best, if not the best, strength weapon in the game. I promise you, if you're playing as a strength build, you will not regret using this sword. It is slower, but oh my god. God, does it put in some work. It, it does take a lot of strength to wield, and it is really heavy, so I am going to put that out there. But you won't regret using it if you're playing as a strength build. And if you're playing as a strength build, I'm pretty sure you're putting stuff on so that you can carry more and be a little more beefier in general. Get a somber smithing stone five over here, and then we're going to go talk to an NPC. Jeez, I almost died a couple of times in this video now. Woo! Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, tarnished are you? How did you slip inside with the gate closed? Hmm. No matter. If you can fell one of them, you're a champion in my book. 
I am Jaren. Foolish old warrior and witness. Incidentally, do you like a good festival from time to time? Well, it's true. This fortress houses only the vanquished. But when the stars align, we celebrate. A war festival honoring the last battle and death of General Radan, the mightiest demigod of the Shattering and bearer of a great rune. Well, good. As you should. The festival affords glory to warriors. Then all you need is a little patience. When the stars align, the festival will be declared. So we're going to be fighting General Radon here soon. We can't just yet. We're actually going to have to come all the way over to Liernia. And we're going to have to take on the Carrion Manor and finish all this up. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fast travel over to the road to the manor. And we're going to grab a few things. So the first thing that we're going to do is put a marker right over there. And then secondly, put a marker over here. And then we'll fast travel over to the road to the manor. I'll see everybody over there. Turn on our lantern, and then we're going to hop on Torrent. We want to be careful. We're going to have magical arrows raining down. Just try to dodge them the best you can. We're going to veer off to the left here for our first marker. Get some golden runes here. Be careful, there is a big rat. Kind of weave in and out. Their AI gets confused. Doesn't know how to handle it. There we go. We got all the golden runes. Now we can roll out. Come back to the road. We're going to come over here. We're going to light this grace. We're not going to bother resting at it. And then we're going to come over to the second marker. We're going to be killing a silver scarab over here. You can see it running around. So we'll just wait for it to come back around. It's just doing a uh, figure eight. Big old scarab. We get the Ash of War Hoarfrost Stomp for killing that scarab. This is actually a really good Ash of War. When the game first came out, this was so broken. This Ash of War was so broken. They patched it by now and uh, nerfed it. But it was a really, really overpowered Ash of War when the game first dropped. It's still good, just not nearly as good as um, before. Let's go ahead and go over to the main Caria Manor Gate. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. I think this is a perfect spot to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. 
Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.